Hello there friends, welcome back to this kitchen rendezvous. And today's friends, I am going to share with you the most delicious Haitian gratini ever. We call it macaroni au gâté. Please stay tuned and keep on watching. As always, you know I love you guys for watching and may God bless you all. Without further ado, let's start cooking with thee. And please guys, if you are new to my channel, consider to subscribe because without you, there is no this kitchen. Thank you guys. Please stay tuned. Okay, my Zamo, and I am going to start by chopping my onions as well as my bell peppers. I use red yellow and orange i didn't have any green bell peppers today but it's fine you use what you have okay now i am showing you all the cheese that i'm gonna be using such as kobe jack cheese shop cheddar cheese gouda cheese mozzarella cheese parmesan cheese and laughing cow cheese i'll be using a tablespoon of butter as well please stay tuned and keep now we are going to clean all meat which i already kind of like give it a quick rinse like a very quick rinse and then i put my vinegar uh lime juice now i put my haitian apis followed by some fresh thyme and rosemary i'm going to mix that well i'll be adding some adobo seasoning some sesame packet guys i'll be adding one to two tablespoon of mustard Next logs, we are going to add one tablespoon of onion powder, followed by one tablespoon of black pepper powder, as well as some one tablespoon of ground thyme and some more lime juice. And we are going to mix all those seasoning, guys, all those goodies into our ground meat, guys. This is what's going to flavor our ground meat. Yes, my love. I love to use extra seasoning just to make sure that my ground meat, any meat that you are seasoning, is well flavorful. Okay, lovelies, now we are going to cook our ground meat, which I have add two to three tablespoons of oil. I'll be adding my chopped onion, my diced bell peppers. I use different type of colors. Now we are going to mix that well, followed by some chopped garlic and as well two to three tablespoons of tomato paste. Make sure we mix that well before we add our ground meat. I know you are going to ask, are you are going to cook all this ground meat? No, honey, I am not going to cook all. I am going to reserve some, as you guys can see in a pot. I am going to reserve some to make the best delicious Haitian appetizers, which is the Ecole Haitian Corner. I have the recipe I already uploaded in my YouTube channel. It's an appetizer that you can find in parties, uh, weddings. So go ahead and check it out, guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the link right now. You can go ahead and click and check it out after you watch this video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned and continue watching. You notice I am mixing the ground meat very well because you know ground meat tends to uh, get very lumpy. Make sure you kind of chop it very well. That's what I'm doing. Now let's go ahead and make our cheese sauce. You can also call sauce bechamel. I add eight tablespoons or one stick of butter. I'll be adding two to three tablespoons of all purpose flour. Just make sure mix it well. Make sure the flour is well cooked combined within the butter. Then I'm gonna be adding my evaporated milk. You can also use whole milk, that's fine as well. Make sure keep on mixing. I'll be adding two cans of evaporated milk. And I do have a special ingredient, which is the nutmeg, guys. Yes, I'm going to be adding a little bit of nutmeg into my cheese sauce or sauce bechamel. Followed by three blocks of laughing cow cheese, guys. Okay, lovelies. In addition, to make our sauce creamier, I'm going to be adding one cup of heavy whipped cream and one spoonful of cream cheese. And next, we are going to flavor our cheese by adding some adobo seasoning as well as some black pepper. And after that, we'll be adding all the cheeses that I shredded earlier, guys. 
when it comes to macaroni guys macaroni au gratin to be specific i do have a little story i remember um back in the days when i didn't know how to make macaroni au gratin i called my auntie back home in haiti and she explained to me over the phone how to make it ever since i know how to make the damn good macaroni and cheese i forgot to mention as well i did add one jar of ragu sauce guys besides the meat sauce this is the second main character of the macaroni au gratin if you don't make that sauce guys hmm, you are tripping yes and next we are going to assemble our macaroni au gratin guys yes my love and i'll be adding one tablespoon of mayo and my meat sauce make sure mix that well and then we are going to put our macaroni au gratin together and then next we'll be baking that baby you know, I have to show you how to boil the pasta, which we all already know how to boil pasta, guys, okay? I add some oil, and as well, I'm going to be adding some adobo seasoning. I don't use any Maggi anymore. This is my personal preference, but I use adobo seasoning, and I'll be using the rigatoni pasta, guys. Let that cook according to the package instructions. Now, let us put all pasta together. I drained the water. Now, I'm going to be adding my meat sauce. Make sure we mix that well. Let's get, get to know each other. And after that, we're going to be adding our cheese sauce, guys. just to taste once we add everything we are going to spread it and now we're going to cover the top with all the cheese the mozzarella the kobe jack cheese the gouda cheese all the cheese i showed you earlier i'm gonna spread the top with it then next i'm gonna be sprinkle a little bit of paprika just to give it a little bit color then we are going to bake our pasta on 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the cheeses are melted guys look at that tell me you don't see what i'm seeing right now it is so gorgeous very beautiful well presented and voila my loves the macaroni au gratin haitian macaroni au gratin with ground beef guys thank you guys so much for watching this video as always i love you guys for watching and i'll see you guys back in my next video bye